then is stuck in the board and <laughs> until that, that lawsuit wait, What finished. says that? Um, I, Eli would uh, be the one that I could try to get you some wordage on that. Okay. But that, that has so, to do, that's, that's the nature of lawsuits with boards. So if you served on the city council and the city council was sued and your term expired, you would continue to be able to vote on the city council no, after no, your, the expiration no, of your term? No, no, I wouldn't be able, no, there's two different things here. One is the lawsuit, which holds you in relationship to the board and that lawsuit that happened while you were on that board or city council. Yeah. And that's, that's, so that holds you to the lawsuit. And then the dissolution plan freezes the board until the payments get done. And then only the lawsuit continues. Freezes the composition of the board or just- Yes, or, or... Composi composition of the- I'm Doug Hoyt, at large board member. I'm frozen. You're actually, uh, you're, you're appointed from the city of Montpelier, Doug. I'm appointed by the city of Montpelier, yes. <laughs> Justin? Justin Dreschler, Montpelier. Uh, Mel? Mel Chambell, Barry. Okay, thank you very much for being here. We have uh, J Joseph uh, is attending as an audience member from Barry City uh, Deputy Chief. And we have David Delcor from the Times Argus, and we have Orca recording. I'd like to approve the agenda by unanimous consent, unless there's any additions or changes. Okay. Any public comments? And approve. Uh, next is approve the minutes of the January 26th board meeting. It came up from Kim, so it was actually quoted that when the plan has been fully implemented, the board shall certify that in fact, the members were upon this chapter and the authority shall be terminated. And we had two, two outstanding payments and you all were signers. So you saw the actual uh, bills and that was paying off the lawyers up to their 6,000 and they worked a month plus without pay. And then the final check to the city was $7 short of six thousand dollars, and that's because when you went when we went back, there was a seven dollar error where a ninety seven became a seventy seven, and that trickled down. So other unlike having like twenty dollars or so left over, we were short. Uh, so the city didn't get a full twenty six thousand, but we paid them what we had. Uh, as soon as those checks come in, then the account will be closed. So I entertain a motion that we approve, certify that indeed the dissolution plan has been followed and completed. So moved. I'll second. Okay, any further discussion on that point? All in favor say aye. 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 Passes unanimously. Now back to David's point, uh, all I can relay is very explicitly that between between municipal law, the actual charter language about what happens when we dissolve, and that the board, so that in fact, when I told or made the statement, the board was frozen at the time of town meeting when the voters approved it. As soon as the final count came in from Barry and Montpelier, we were, we were frozen in place to remain, one, to certify it once it was complete, the plan that was approved, and two, because of the lawsuit. If you could and point we changed to the section offices, of the that, oops, Just sorry. a minute. And so in our offices, our offices change the first meeting in March following town meeting day. So there were no office changing because the board was already in the action going through the steps of dissolving itself, fulfilling the plan the voters voted. Right, and if you could point me to the section of the charter where that says that the board is frozen while you're in the process of dissolving, then, uh, you know, I... I don't, think, I don't think that necessarily, I think that has to come to do with that, what, what the board, how it uses You the can't board. extend your own terms. I mean, you can't... No, no, create... I'm not, I'm not. I, I'm, just, I'm just telling you from what Eli used the charter, he used municipal law. Eli Emerson, our lawyer. 
Okay. So he was the one that defined all of our acts. He took Justin's uh, initial draft of the plan and made sure that it followed the charter and what he knew of municipal law. And we had the plan, we put it before voters, it was approved. Right, yeah, no, I get that. I mean, okay. I understand and what so, you're doing. I just, the only part I don't get is 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 how terms that are expired are still, you, you're still, I mean, technically, technically by charter, you should have held an organizational meeting to elect a chair so that you could have this meeting and there would have been three members who could vote, you know, Justin, Kim and, and Amel. And that would have been okay. And you could do it. You know, there's no reason not to. I mean, you know, why not? I mean, if you're careful going into something, you should be careful Actually, going Actually, it is. It, uh, I, I'm sorry. You, you can't have regular business once the dissolution plan was voted in. And so I don't know all the quoted law, but I know what I've been told. But it also makes common sense, David. You have an organization that now is in the steps of dissolving. And the members that started that are the board that's going through that dissolution. They're also the board that's going to be there that uh, has a bit of a light thread to the lawsuit, even though I'm the only active one engaging with the lawyers on the lawsuit. Again, that's according to the plan. So I, I can ask Eli to try to provide you with additional information, uh, but we also have changed lawyers thanks to Eli, Doreen, and Beth at Primer and Kriper Law Firm. They challenged the league's denial of our liability coverage and made an agreement that's a bit limited, but from this point forward, the league will assign us a lawyer to follow the lawsuit for whatever it takes. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Because the first step is the motion to dismiss, which they say have like 90, 95% likelihood not being dismissed, that Vermont tends to lean towards giving people their day in court. So that means a lot of activity around that after that is denied, if it is. Then so we have for, the evidence and discovery. So if I look for language in the charter that says the board is frozen, I won't find it. And if I look for language in the plan, I won't find it. The only place I'll not find it is if I talk to Eli. No, not those, no, not those words. You absolutely won't. No, this came from Eli. Is it? Yeah. So I'll find out, uh, I mean, literally, I, I have to ask him exactly where in the context he got that. I, I can't give you a quote. It totally follows in line when I read what it says in the certification and what I read in the plan. The plan says you pay all your obligations. At that yeah. point, you certify that it's done. And then the board remains only with this light thread associated to the lawsuit. Right. Yeah. And, and, and we the don't board do any can more still business do that. from town meeting day forward. When that happened, we, there's no more business except doing the plan and the lawsuit. So I'll, I'll get to you. I'll get you what I can from Eli, although he's no longer on my dime, <laughs> but I will, I will talk to him. <laughs> okay. Okay. I really will, David. I take yeah. you, I take the comments seriously, but uh, I'm just trying to explain it, how I heard him say it and what he's told us exactly what to do and how we've tried to follow it. Uh, so that was really my update on the lawsuit. If indeed the board wants to have more detail, we can go into an executive session. Um, we don't have a link, Donna, so we're not going to executive session. Okay. Well, we don't okay. need to do that anymore. Put them in the waiting room, right? Okay, oh, that's all the business we have. Uh, other than to say thank you for showing up all the time, constantly through all of this, not just the last few months, but it's just been great. Really appreciate you all. Uh, great to see everybody. See you guys soon. All right. So we'll adjourn the meeting. Okay. Thanks, everybody, for attending. Yeah. And thank I will get you. back to you, David.